Hi, I'm Anna and after university and multiple lockdowns, I wanted to travel as much as I could. In 2021, I moved out for the first time to live and teach English in Thailand for six months. I love to document everything from my 24 hour trips to living and working abroad. So subscribe to follow along the journey. Good morning everyone from Poland. Today is Thursday morning. We arrived to Poland last night. We are here until Sunday evening. I am in Krakow. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. But this is my first time ever in Poland. And I am in Poland with... Hello. Kaylee. I can't get rid of her. She came with me to Edinburgh and now we're in Poland. I'm just like a bad smell. <laughs> it is bright and early this morning. Me and Kaylee are on our way to get some coffee and some breakfast, but also ultimately to a bus stop that's going to take us to our tour of Auschwitz today. We booked our tour on Get Your Guide uh, for like £40 each-ish, which I thought oh, was really I good. I think it was that expensive, was it? And it also includes pick-up and drop-off, but like to the bus stop. It was really easy to get to our hotel last night. We got in a Bolt, a downloaded Bolt, which I also had in Bangkok, and it cost me £7 to get from the airport to the hotel, which was really good. We're staying near the old town in Krakow. And as you can see right now, it's quite busy, it's quite beautiful. There's trams, I love a tram. I don't think I'm gonna be filming anything in Auschwitz, but I think that's gonna take up most of the whole day. It's like a full day tour. Me and Kaylee have been dropped off the bus by just like a general point because the traffic was getting quite bad. Had a really interesting day. I really recommend you go and do it. We visited both Auschwitz's. I really like history and I learned a lot about it in school, but I think there's nothing really like going to go and see it. Like especially with the rise and anti-Semitism and all that, I think it's just so important to go and see it and remind yourself of obviously stuff like that can still happen. Heading back to the hotel, freshen up a wee bit and then I think we'll head out for a bit more of an explore and find dinner. We have just come out for dinner at a place called Mirror Bistro and it specialises in pierogies. This is my first time having pierogi. But as you can see on the menu, you can sort of like pick and choose between they've got veggie and meat savoury ones and fruit and dessert sweet ones. So we decided to start with savoury. You get 10 pieces in each or you can do five and five within the savoury and the fruit. Kaylee's having potatoes, Polish sausage, bacon and onion in one, pork and beef, meat and vegetables in another one. I've gone for feta cheese, spinach and garlic in one and mushroom cheese like an onion in another one and then hopefully I'm still hungry because I'm really intrigued by the fruit and dessert ones so I'm hoping that I can finish off with some sweet pierogies which I didn't even realise was a thing until I looked at this menu. I have not really eaten any Polish food ever. I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to find many vegetarian pierogies but I just looked on Google Maps for like places near the hotel and found this place specialises in pierogies so we're doing well so far. We just arrived. I don't know which is which, obviously, but I think I see the spinach and feta. Try it without the sauce first. We've got garlic sauce with it. Mmm. Mmm. I prefer the meat and veggie one for sure. It was hot. That is. Lovely. This is the mushroom uh, leek cheese and onion, I think. I'm obsessed. I'm mm. obsessed, Kayla. Oh my god. I need to eat pierogies the rest of this holiday. <gasps> It's like a dumpling, but it's just not really what I expected. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday the next day today. Last night, I didn't have any sweet pierogies. We got absolutely stuffed with the savoury ones, but they were so good. And then this morning, we got woken up before 7 a.m. by someone in the hotel who said that there was a leak upstairs, so they needed to turn our water off. It meant this morning we had sink showers with like the tiniest little trickle of water, so hopefully the water is going to come back on this evening because I would really like to have a proper shower and I haven't washed my hair in like three, four days. I feel a bit disgusting. We just went to get some breakfast. We didn't finish it, so that's also lunch in the bag. Today's plan is to visit the Barbican, the Basilica, and then the castle because apparently the castle's got free entry from one to five. So hopefully we can get that done last and get the free entry. Because Poland is so pretty and all the colours here are gorgeous. This park is giving me like Central Park vibes. I didn't realise Poland or Krakow was so green. There's so much like open space to walk. It's beautiful. No! Sadly, the Barbican today is apparently closed until March 2023. So we're just going to have a walk around, see it from the outside. And it looks like there's loads of other stuff going on in this square anyway. Lots of tourists and tour groups walking around. I feel like I just turn every corner and everything is absolutely gorgeous. We are just walking down the main road, I think, in the old town through the old buildings and everything to get to the 
basilicum and everything is so gorgeous all the buildings are beautiful we keep popping into different shops there was a sephora and hopefully the castle at one when we're hoping it will be free but if it's not it says it's like 11 zloty which is nothing anyway i think we are walking into the main square where the markets are and i think at christmas time this is where the christmas markets are so beautiful here and there is all these vendors selling like bagel pretzel things we see them on every corner we need to try one this trip it looks gorgeous wow the buildings here are something else we are trying to get into the basilica there is a door that says for prayer only so we don't really want to go in the prayer only door because will we go in and say we prayer well, we could this is the thing that might be the only door because we've just walked around the whole basilica and it seems there's work going on at the back and the only other door we saw was exit so we might have to go in and say a little prayer no i've not prayed in a very long time so i don't know how to do it properly we went into the basilica in the prayers way but oh my god was it gorgeous you absolutely need to go inside to see the beauty the scale i don't know how they did things like that but it's gorgeous and now we've just come inside the building opposite with the arches looks like there's a little indoor market this is so cute every street that i turn i feel like i'm repeating myself but every street i turn i'm like this is gorgeous poland is gorgeous not on the counting days not only observing the situation but being a participant saving life slava ukraine slava ukraine slava ukraine we are heading up the ramp and stairs up to the castle now. It looks really cool from what we can see so far. So guys, this is a crack off hack for you. Before 1 p.m., you need to pay. After one, totally free. Wow, this is incredible. Absolutely insane. And they've also got little dragon gutters. They are so cool. Okay, so we have found a minor flaw in our free castle plan. It turns out that although we can get free access to the castle after 1 p.m., many of the exhibits and things to see in rooms and things that show like the Crown Treasury and things like that, you need to pay to get into those. And we can't quite figure out if you came before 1 p.m., would you have to pay the entrance fee and the separate money to get into the exhibits? And it's not like one to get into all the exhibits either. They're all different prices. So we're a little bit confused about that. But I think we're just gonna skip the ones that you need to pay for. Just take a walk around the grounds. It's very beautiful anyway. We've come out to the main viewpoint courtyard. You've got to watch where you're going because the Polish seem to really like jaggedy cobblestones. We are currently looking for the dragon statue because we keep seeing dragons on all of the Krakow uh, souvenir things. So we need to keep an eye out for the dragon. It says Dragon's Den is around here somewhere. I think there is a statue of a dragon in front of the castle. We've yet to locate it. But this viewpoint is so cool. You can see like 180 degree views and you can see the crack of hot air balloon that goes up and down it costs 14 pounds apparently they've got a big ferris wheel over there we're gonna explore the river maybe tomorrow that sort of area dragon's den is closed down here and like into a cave that's so cool not today we've come out the castle in the search for this dragon and we've just seen him so excited so yes dragon. The dragon it's pretty cool looking to be honest I wonder like what the background and the lore is because it must have some sort of historical significance because the dragon thing is everywhere here. Me and Keila were just standing here looking at the dragon and all of a sudden it started to spit fire. It's a real dragon. A little bit put myself. It's a real dragon. But oh my god, off. that's so cool. If you were a kid coming to see this, I would be like, wow. I have got my first chimney cake. This is a sweet yeast dough rolled around a cylinder and then baked I think I have chosen lotus biscuit so it's got the lotus biscuit sauce on the inside and sugar around the outside Kaylee went for a big one with lotus biscuit but also ice cream on the well, inside I just, said I wanted like a little bit of ice cream look at this bad boy how's it <laughs> uh, thank you oh my god it's so nice and hot how do you even go about this Oh my god. Mine is like a roll and Kaylee's is like a cone with the ice cream. This is, this is amazing. This is unreal. You need to try a chimney cake. It's just like, it just tastes like a donut 
basically but they had so many different flavors and next time I think I might have to try one with ice cream. We are about to head out for our last full day so I thought I would end vlog number one here and I'm going to pick up the vlog for today and tomorrow because we leave tomorrow evening for the second vlog. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to see the second crack off vlog and more travel content from me. Bye guys!